had a gear. Boom. Bam. Here, right. It's it. Ah, oh, shoot. And then it gets smart, so he bails on it. Now we got to regain position, right? We took him down to the mat. Now we have to fight for better position. Maybe the Von Kluge choke didn't work, right? So now what we have to do is get decent side control before we can do anything else. This is a game of fighting for the best position, and now I'm going to win that game. Notice where, okay, I'm on top, but notice where Billy's inside arm is. It's to the mat, and I don't want it there. What I have to do is, I like lifting a little on the head, I'm on my toes, I'm going to scoop that arm up. See that? I got all my weight on his diaphragm, I'm not way over here, I'm right in the middle, and I just scooped up his arm. I fed it at the tricep to my, to my hand, and I'm going to pull him up. Pull him up. Now I'm in position where I can get a decent side control. So I'm going to lift, put a knee right down behind his head, and now I've got good position. I'm trapping an arm on my knee, my shoulder is turning his chin, <coughs> and bless you. Good brain. Thank you. Right? And I don't want that there. And I want to ultimately be right here. So how do we get from mom? Once again, we're here. I'm going to scoop, grab the elbow, lift, <coughs> bless you, <laughs> to here. All right, so to get them out, we've done this one before where we crawl out, right? Trap the tricep, block with the head, knee. All right, we've done that one. Let's look at a different option. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take the foot and tuck it right in close to his body. And it's interesting, as I do that, not only am I trapping this arm where it needs to be, but I'm also putting some good pressure on his chin. Does that feel different? Mm -hmm. From here to here. There should be decent pressure on his chin, yeah. And that all happens because I'm just rotating this foot underneath his body. Now, all I'm going to do is pull my knee up on his hip, here. Cup my foot from the back of his thigh, and I'm starting to work my foot down. See what's happening to his body? Billy, can you tell me what's happening to your jaw as I'm doing it? up, and my foot is pulling down, I'm stretching. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm putting a ton of pressure on his chin, and I'm stretching his body out. Now, all I need to do is pull back up, put my foot on his other thigh, kick down, and I'm in a decent mount. So either I'm going to take it at the elbow, walking it out, or I'm going to take it in his feet up. Constant pressure. Once again, this is a game of pressure and space, right? Here, one to the head. I rotate the foot in. Wraps it, sitting on it. Turn in his chin. Knee on his hip. Foot. In his hip pocket, and I start extending it down towards his knee, flattening him, putting pressure on his jaw too. This is miserable, it's not very comfortable. From here, I can drop to his other foot, kick that down, knee up to his armpit. Now I'm in a pretty high mount. Any questions? Sure, world.